What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and I don't understand why these YouTubers or these people in the video game space always end up being total creeps. Yogscast is a gigantic YouTube channel with 7.2 million subscribers. Their Twitter boasts nearly 700,000 followers, and they've been making video game videos for many years. They are probably what you would describe as uh, peak YouTube, right? They started early. They grew and grew and grew. They built a whole company out of it, employing lots of people, which is all a good thing. Um, and now, in the waning days, when you look at their YouTube channel, they're not, you know, for 7.2 million subscribers, getting just 200,000 views per video, you know, it's not exactly what I would expect. And they must, you know, they spend a lot of time streaming and doing all sorts of stuff like that. But over the past two weeks, Two different people have now had to uh, depart from the company. And as of today, a third person is now under investigation. We have news. Uh, first of all, I wanted to let you know, this is from Terps himself. I've stepped down as CEO of Yogscast. When I recently said we expected the highest levels of professionalism from our talent, we need to be held to those standards too. Um, I've sent some inappropriate messages to several members of the community, and I'm deeply embarrassed about this error of judgment. I thought... I mean, how hard is it to not ask people for their spicy photos? That's what this dude did. It was, I read all the text messages. They were cringy. But, I mean, do you really step down for that? I mean, I guess he was being very creepy. Uh, so continuing to ask even after being told no. Uh, and had denied this for many weeks before, I guess, finally... Um, realizing that the it wasn't going away uh, people aren't even happy that he stepped down they wanted him fired which what's the difference um, i was in a position of considerable responsibility and um you all deserve better for me if you've been upset by my actions i'm very sorry uh then <laughs> moments later hey all following terp's statement i wanted to say something terps is a close friend to many here i can confirm that he's chosen to resign from the augs cast it's very important to me that we're held to high standards and he made the right decision to face up to his actions. I wanted to thank those of you who contacted me at Lewis at Yogscast and apologize to them directly. I was sad to hear um, that some people who came forward uh, took some heat online, accusing them of faking or making up stories. Look, I gotta be honest with you, uh, in, in current year, the we've seen more cases, I believe, of people making this up for clout than cases of actual uh, misconduct. It's been an eye-opening week for me. We owe everything to our community and it's important we deal with bad stuff like this responsibly. I've seen the actual evidence that looks fake, the fake evidence that looks truthful. We needed time to look at it all. Following your emails, we're looking into some historical claims that Jin, another person, and I've asked him to step away from the channel streams in the meantime. <laughs> I've said before we're trying to do the right thing. How many people... How many people are creeps that work for, for you guys? I mean, seriously. Also, you know, it does bring up the question of like, okay, look, if you're just a dude trying to hook up or, and you're creepy, does that mean you should be fired from your job? I don't think so. Um, the fans will decide if they want to support you or not. Now, if you are like we saw the other week with uh, a different employee, um, you know, taking your mod position and using it to like groom women, uh, that's obviously not okay. And that's the type of thing that I would fire somebody over. Uh, it started with Matthew Kafkas Meredith, uh, who is a content creator on YouTube and Twitch. Uh, and accusations first came to light after a post made by a moderator in the YouTube's public discord described alleged instances of multiple <laughs> attempted spicy relationships between Kafkas and his fans. The YouTuber told moderators to hide his relationship status from fans to increase his chances of forming, of basically hooking up with other fans. That's just sad. Um, and I don't understand what turns these dude. You give you give people a little bit of money, a little bit of clout, and they seem to turn into absolute losers. Whatever happened to being loyal? I don't understand. And also, like hooking up with your fans, there's nothing cringier than that. I mean, okay, fine if you're in a band. That's acceptable. If you're a YouTuber, eh, I don't know. It just seems weak sauce to me. Uh, so he goes. And then today, Yogscast CEO Mark Turpin steps down after Matthew Kafkas Meredith was terminated from the company. 
Uh, Yogscast CEO Mark Terps has now officially resigned from his position over separate <laughs> issues. Allegations came to light after CAFCAST was terminated and with one user claiming that he'd asked them for spicy photos when they were, quote, younger. Afterward, Yogscast founder Lewis Bradley asked fans for their stories if they'd ever had a negative experience. Uh, the announcement was made by Turpin himself on the Yogscast subreddit, saying that the company expected high standards. He also admitted to the allegations. I've sent some messages to several members of the community, and I'm deeply embarrassed. I, I mean, yeah, you should be embarrassed. I mean, I don't understand why anyone these days is sending these kind of cringy messages. Like, if you're a content creator or, a you know, a, a personality or, a, pardon me, influencer, and you're sending these type of messages and you don't think that they're going to get out, you're a moron. I mean, I don't know how else to put it. You are sending these things on Discord or via text message every single day time this stuff gets out this has been happening for years and yet these dudes can't help themselves now if i look this seems like the standard soy smile so i'm not sure if there's any relation there but we go a third yogscast member now under investigation after ceo departs uh popular youtube and twitch channel yogscast is embroiled in a scandal involving one of its content creators and ceo with a third member now under investigation Mark Terps Turpin sp stepped down as CEO. Uh, Terps said in the Reddit post, which we've already read, the news comes after Yogscast content creator Matthew Kafkas Meredith was let go from a group over allegations. Uh, last month, YouTube apparently asked to hire female mods, told existing mods to hide his relationship status from fans. Lewis Bradley, founding, founding member of Yogscast, put out the call, and now a third member is under investigation. There's no, make no mistake about it, uh, there will be more. And uh, this won't be the end of it. It's, I don't understand, um, you know, how these do, why is it like every single time? I mean, what was, what was it? Pro Jared, not that long ago. Um, it's Yogg's cast now, three dudes in Yogg's cast. I'm sure at this rate, the other evidence is probably correct. And if we look um, at some of the conversations here, where was this? Can't imagine the atmosphere in the office today. We'll let you know if anything YogCon changes so they have a convention. After Terps, I hope the heck nothing comes up on Shin. I'm probably saying that wrong. One of my favorite classic YouTubers, and that would stink. Uh, you know, so proud of how you're dealing with this. The, the community is still behind the Yogg's cast, but I suppose as a fan, this puts you in a weird spot. Like, I think as a dude, probably more often, but maybe not, uh, you probably, most of us have probably sent some like cringy late night drunk texts or, uh, you know, some weird things that wouldn't be okay nowadays that were probably even cringy when we did them in the nineties. Uh, but all this stuff in the digital era will continue to, to come up and haunt people. Uh, and I don't understand. I mean, normally if I'm even if, like I'm drinking, I put myself, my phone down. You know, because you just know you're going to send something stupid that's going to end up on the internet, or you're going to tweet something, which I've done several times, something stupid. Uh, but I, there seems to be this weird trend going on. Uh, you know, I don't know exactly how many employees Yogscast has, probably 15 or 20, maybe. Uh, that's my best guess. Lewis, something I feel and has not been asked enough. How are you dealing with all this? Are you and the other Yogs okay? I mean, the community seems to be really standing behind um, them. And I suppose that's the right thing. You shouldn't like, if a couple of employees at a company screw up, it's not like the entire company, but uh, when we're on our third, probably going on fourth Yogs cast member, I'm pretty sure there's a systemic issue there. Uh, not going to lie, it feels like a punch in the stomach. I was sincerely hoping the allegations were fabricated and the proof was faked. But it seems like I and all those who believed stand corrected. Uh, and the text messages, the person has now put their Twitter account on private. Uh, look, if you're a YouTuber or an influencer or whatever, uh, word to the wise, anything you post, uh, anything you send in a personal text message has been screenshotted, will be screenshotted, will be used against you. We saw everything come out when we had pro Jared and Holly and Heidi, I think their names were 
all of them willingly sharing personal text messages and every little piece just for a shred of internet clout or uh, the feeling of getting over on someone or getting back to them. This is just how these people are. I don't understand, uh, but I'm wondering just how much soy is in their diet because it seems to me every time somebody's talking about how good they are and how righteous they are, they're the ones with the most skeletons in their closet. Hope you enjoyed this video. This will be fun to watch, and we'll talk to you again real soon.